Holy moly, Marcy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. All right. What could go wrong? It worked out great for... <laughs> Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. We've got a bit of a situation, which is why I've asked Officer Swanson to join us. It appears Chris sent an inappropriate photo of himself to one of his classmates. That's right. He texted a picture of his peony. Oh, my God. And apparently the girl... Oh, thank God. ...he sent it to doesn't like him back, so she turned him in. Okay, I can see everybody's mad, but... What do you think? Thank you for bringing this to our attention, Principal Shepard. We'll make sure Chris apologizes to that little knob tease. I'm sorry, Lois, but it's not that simple. When Chris sent that picture, he was technically distributing child pornography. Child pornography? Joe, that's crazy. He's just a teenager who made a bad choice. I don't know what to say, but the laws just haven't caught up to how cool kids are now. I'm sorry, but this makes Chris a sex offender. Oh, my God. Huh. Well, I'm not about to make a Batman exit right now, but has that thing always been over there? Over where? What are you doing, Peter? Ah, you look back too fast. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. Today we bring you a disturbing case of child pornography. Local teenage scumbag Chris Griffin, whose name will be omitted here, was caught sending quote-unquote graphic selfies of his hog not sure where that quote is from, to another underage student. Coming up next, teleprompter guy puts the period in a weird place. Oh, this is awful. Now everyone in town knows I'm a sex offender. We know you didn't mean any harm, Chris. We're just living in a different time. When I was your age, boys used to just whip it out on the bus. Can't I just go on the news and tell everyone I'm sorry? Oh, I wish you could, sweetie, but the law says that as a sex offender, you have to complete a rehabilitation course. Oh, that sounds awful. It can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Good evening, I'm Glenn Quagmire, your instructor. Everyone look to your left. Now look to your right. All of you are sex offenders, and statistically, you will all be here again, because this has never worked in the history of doing this. Now, today, we have a new member, giggity, Chris G. Hi, Chris. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Okay, next, let's take a few minutes to talk about our new fake interests. Here's a clay pot I made. I've started following girls field hockey. No, come on, you're supposed to pick from the list. M Mr. Quagmire, this is terrible, and do I really have to be here? Well, the law does give you a choice, this or chemical castration. What's that? You take a ton of pills that completely wipe out all sexuality. Oh, is that what Michael Moore did? No, but I understand why you'd think that. Now, do you want to see the list? Well, I could take a whack at hand distressing furniture. We don't say whack. <laughs> Meg, can you hand me the paper plates? I can't believe we're having an ice cream cake to celebrate Chris graduating from sex offender school. Well, the opportunities to celebrate don't come often in this household. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Oh, there you are. How was your first day out of rehab? It was terrible. Taking that class made no difference. Nobody wants anything to do with me. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run! It's that pervert! Everybody into my safety basement! Oh! Oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around.